Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the advantages and limitations of cloud computing. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look. First we'll look at the advantages of cloud computing. The first area we'll look at is you'll trade capital expense for variable expense. So what does that mean? It means that in a traditional model you would have a significant upfront investment in equipment, servers, racks, data center. In the cloud you don't have any upfront expense. You simply pay as you go and pay for what you use. So it's a very efficient model. In a traditional project you may have to go out and buy a bunch of servers, uh, additional rack space, maybe even some additional networking equipment. And if that project goes away or gets canceled for some reason, then you're stuck with all of that upfront investment. With the cloud, you don't really have any of, about any of that kind of issue. You just simply stop, delete the servers that you have, remove the networking from the cloud, and your charges will stop. Stop guessing about capacity. You can quickly add and easily adjust capacity up and down. So if you have a huge increase in demand on the current product that you have, you can easily scale up in the cloud. And if that demand is seasonal, something like a Christmas rush or something like that, then you can easily scale down. And again, you don't have to pay for that upfront investment of the equipment and have that, that waste. Again, a very official model, efficient model. Increase speed and agility. So one of the things that's fantastic about the cloud is you can provision resources very quickly and your infrastructure can adapt and quickly to a quickly changing market. So as things change and definitely with the last few years there's been a lot of uncertainty in the market, the cloud is very good for speed and agility and again adapting to that. And you can really focus on what matters. You can spend time on developing applications that add value to your IT operations and not spending time on infrastructure. And the last benefit we'll talk about is you can go global in minutes. Because of the massive scale of shared infrastructure and, and cloud providers such as Amazon, AWS, and Microsoft Azure, they have worldwide data center coverage and you can take advantage of that for a fraction of the cost that you just simply couldn't do that on your own. So those are the big advantages that you can trade capital expense for variable expense. You can stop guessing about capacity, increase speed and agility, focus on what matters and go global in minutes. Now let's look at some of the limitations of cloud computing. Now let's look at some of the limitations of cloud computing. The first one is you don't have physical control of your environment. You can't schedule a visit to an AWS data center and see your servers that are running in the cloud. It's simply not possible due to the security constraints. Plus, you actually share that infrastructure with many, many other customers. And so it's really kind of impossible to say, well, my server is running here in this particular location in this AWS data center. And some regulated industries may require physical custody of data and processing equipment. Some uh, highly specialized applications and, and regulated industries may require that you have physical custody of certain types of data and house it in your own, uh, your own data center. The next thing we'll talk about is network latency may be a little too great for some applications. So if, you if your application requires that the processing be very close to a user, the latency between your user and the cloud may be too great for very specific types of applications. Uh, for example, if you have a flight control system, for example, the onboard flight computer has to process those instructions in a very quick manner. So you couldn't have something operating over a wireless network and trying to c control a flight system. The latency would be too great for that. The last thing is when you go to the cloud, it's so easy to provision resources. It can lead to problems if you don't really have a good governance a set of rules in your app in your organization to control you might get cloud sprawl where, where people are provisioning all kinds of servers and network resources and cost may go through the roof if you don't have good controls on it so in some ways the ease of provisioning resources can be a double-edged sword you might over provision resources because it's so easy to do that's really just some of the limitations of cloud computing let's go ahead and wrap this lesson up in summary, the cloud has many significant advantages as opposed to operating your own data center, those in terms of flexibility, speed, and agility. But however, not all applications are suited to run in the cloud, and we looked at just a few examples of those things. So that's really it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. 
Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like the material, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for now. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.